All right, let me get this straight. You're telling me we're getting a horror movie trilogy out of Ty West's movie X, and he's not calling the other two Y and Z? I mean, what are we doing here? What's up guys, I'm Sully Streams. I post videos every week about which movies are actually worth your time and which ones are just hot garbage. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that watch list of yours just keeps getting longer. And today we finally get to talk about the new A24 horror movie, Pearl. All you need to know about this one is that it's an origin story of the killer from the horror movie X. Mia Goth plays a young woman who's just bored to death of her chores on the family farm and is tired of taking care of her sick father. She's gonna do whatever it takes to get her name up in lights, but more importantly, just get as far away from home as possible and she's not gonna let anything get in the way of accomplishing her dreams, and I mean anything. So getting right into it, it's not mandatory to have seen X before checking out Pearl. It definitely stands alone as its own story, but I'm making it mandatory because X is awesome. It definitely could end up being my favorite horror movie of 2022. So obviously I was pumped when we got that cryptic teaser at the end of X telling us that this prequel movie Pearl was coming later this year. We're actually getting a third movie too, but that's for another video. But anyway, I was definitely a little bit worried that the prequel would feel rushed, but come on, you knew I was gonna see it anyway. And for the most part, I was not disappointed. All right, so I just gotta say, I am obsessed with Mia Goth after this movie. She has risen up so high in my book after her performances from this year alone. She brings such an interesting element of innocence and empathy to Pearl, so much so that even though she's the obvious villain of this movie, you don't just spend the whole two hour runtime hating her. You can actually sympathize and relate to some of the hardships she's going through. And we'll touch on that a little bit more later. But anyone that sees this movie is gonna be hypnotized by the monologue she does in here. She does like a 10 minute, just a close up of her face, single shot monologue that that ends up being one of the best monologues I've ever seen in my entire life. She's just at the top of her game in this movie. Even the end credits of this movie are unbelievable because of her. I might even go as far as saying as they're iconic for the genre, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. I just can't wait to see her in like a bajillion more movies. Ty West just continues to amaze me as a horror filmmaker this year because all the movies that he makes set in a specific time period feel so damn authentic. X was basically a 70s time capsule and all the old school horror cliches were working overtime. Pearl is no different. All the film purists are gonna lose their shit when they witness all of the colors, the title cards, and the music. But on the flip side of the coin here, it really looks and feels like a movie made in that time period, so much so that I don't know that every Everybody is gonna vibe with it. And when I say it feels like a movie made in 1918, it just adopts all of the trademarks from that era. Like this one moves a lot slower, there's a lot less going on on the surface. If you go into this one expecting X in a different time period, you might end up leaving a little bummed out. So it's important to just set that bar from the jump. I feel like we do need to set some expectations right off the bat though. Like if you loved X, you're probably gonna love Pearl. If you didn't like X, I'm gonna guess that you're not gonna like Pearl either. But what I'm trying to explain here is that they're not one and the same. They're not the same movie. They don't have the same vibe. X is a stone cold 70s slasher. Pearl isn't really. The best way I can think of how to explain it is if X is Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Misery, then Pearl is Carrie and Psycho. But okay, we need to talk about something for a minute so I know I'm not alone here. Hopefully you guys feel like this too. But what's crazy for me about this movie, and this happened to me with X too, is that to a point, I feel myself sympathizing with and feeling bad for the killer in these movies. And like I said, to a point. If you still feel bad for her by the end of this movie, you've got something else going on with you and unfortunately, we don't have enough time to unpack that in this video. But for the first half hour, when you see just how tedious her life is and just how much pressure her mother puts her under, you can't help but root for her a little bit. Like she goes to her little dance audition and I'm like, man, I hope she crushes this so she can get out of this little ass town. Oh, wait. Now the question everybody wants the answer to, is Pearl as good as X? I'm gonna have to say no. I just think there's a lot more going on in X and there's way more substance for casual horror fans. It's just such a more stylized and glamorous time period. I mean, this is the 70s we're talking about, baby. That's a hard time period to beat when we're talking about a slasher. But what's important to note here is that I think Pearl accomplishes what it's set out to do. And that is to be a good companion film to X. You know, it peels back the layers, tells us how Pearl became the killer she is today, what makes her tick, what makes her go bananas. If you're someone that watched X and you just want more answers and want to hear more of that history, you're going to eat this up. Pearl is another solid collaboration between Ty West and Mia Goth. If you're someone who is asking themselves about the motives of the killer from the movie X after it ended, you're going to absolutely gobble this up. Sure, it didn't match the entertainment or the intensity of the previous film for me, but from a technical and performance standpoint, if you're a horror fan, there is a lot to enjoy in this movie.
Pearl gets a Sully score of three and a half stars. So that's my review of Pearl. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna go check this one out or if you've already seen it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys at the next video.